What up, Juggalos? Panic17 here once again. Carnival Spirits. CarnivalSpirits.com. Y'all know what the fuck's up. We got a site. Today, I am talking to the wrestling ninjas out there. All you ninjas who like wrestling. We all know the struggle of being into an indie federation or anything that's not WWE, TNA, ROH, anything that is on TV. It is hard to keep up with indie federations. It's difficult, you know what I'm saying? You find some shit that you like. Maybe it's New Japan Pro Wrestling. You don't got the fucking channel. You got to search the websites. You got to look for episodes. And before you know it, they've already had three or four shows, so now you're behind. What the fuck? Like, we love wrestling, but let's all admit, there is storylines. It's been called a soap opera for men. We love wrestling. If you're into wrestling, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, don't worry about our world. The struggle is, you want to know the, the storylines. And in wrestling, it's kind of easy to get in the flow whenever, you know, you don't know what's going on. It's really easy to get back in the flow. But what about just keeping up? Violent J and Shaggy have a little promotion. I don't know if you ever heard about it. It's called Juggalo Championship Wrestling. It used to be called Juggalo Championship Wrestling. That's when they were basically making fun of everybody. They were making people cry behind the scenes. I could just imagine all the wrestlers that cried that had no idea. And maybe they did. I don't know. This is purely, specula purely speculation on my part. But if you watched the last Juggalo show, which is the best show to watch right now, you've got Jump Steady. Anytime Jump Steady talks, you know you love to listen. You got Rude Boy. He can't wrestle, but he could bleed like a motherfucker. And KG, he does it all. What the fuck don't he do? He's the Zordon of the Juggalo show. If you watch Power Rangers, you know what I'm talking about. They're going to have monthly DVDs coming out. So my plan is I'm going to buy these monthly DVDs and I'm going to watch them. And now you are going to be able to keep up with the storylines. And I'm going to help. I'm going to break down these DVDs. What's on these DVDs? What's the story that's being told? Who's won? Who's lost? Who has the championship? Who's lost a championship? I'm going to break down these DVDs, and now every month you are going to know what's going on with JCW. That's one thing that I've always kind of like, man, I wish I could keep up with what's going on, you know. I seen Hatchet Attacks. I was there at Hatchet Attacks. Me and my homie blew up when fucking Necro Butcher's music came on and he came out looking like a bearded clown. We're like, oh shit, you know. And he faced Davari. Davari's not a, a deathmatch wrestler, but it is what it is. Necro is a true worker, and he made that match. Then we saw Kongo Kong versus Too Tough Tony. And the meteorite smacking Kongo Kong straight in the fucking dome, catching the air, which caught the fire even more on his fucking wig, and every ninja in the front row could smell the horror. So basically what I'm trying to sell to you is every month I am going to do and break down a review on JCW and maybe you can't keep up with it, maybe you can't see it, but I will tell you about it and you will know what is going on with the JCW March 21st, 24th, the DVD drops, JCW's back bitch, and every month following this month you will know also what the fuck is going on so we'll see you later on in the month with jcw's back bitch Ooh, to the week